Hi and welcome to this video guide on how to build a knowledge base application. My name is Ned, I am a technical evangelist at Caspio and in part 5 of this video series we will learn how to deploy the application to a website. Let's have a look. When you receive the email from Caspio you will get two downloadable files. One that has the knowledge base application and the other one that contains all the web template files. Let me show you how to import this knowledge base application into your account. Once you're inside the account, go to Tools and click on Import. And then go ahead and locate that file. If you saved it on the desktop like I did, you'll find it there. But if you have it in a different directory, find that file, double click on it, hit Next. Hit Next one more time. And here you'll be able to see all the content that you're importing, how many data pages, tables, etc. Go ahead and click Next to move on to the next screen. On this part of the import, you will see all the different parameters that you're importing. Now go ahead and hit import. Once the import is successful, which could take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, you'll be able to see all the imported files. At the end, just hit the close button. And immediately, Caspio takes you inside the overview screen for that application. If you want to see what this looks like on the home page, click on the home button. If you want to reopen the application, click on the open link. And here you'll be able to find all the data pages, including all the admin data pages and all the user data pages that we created in the prior video. Now let me show you how to actually deploy these data pages to the web template. The second file that you receive, go ahead and double click on that file and just drag over the contents over to your desktop like this to unzip the file or extract all the files. Now you can close this screen, double click on that folder and you should be able to find all the content for that web template including all the user HTML pages and all the admin HTML pages. So let me show you what they look like on the user side. If you highlight all of the HTML pages, right click and then go ahead and open up all the pages using a Notepad++. That's the HTML editor that I use to edit my HTML. If you have a different one, go ahead and use that, whatever your preference is. Once you open up all the files, you should be able to see them as tabs across the top. Here is my login page, so let's begin with this page first. When you scroll down the HTML document, you will be able to find this text here in between the brackets. User stands for the folder inside Caspio, and then in between the quotes is the data page name. So the naming convention will be exactly the same as in Caspio, so it'll correspond to whatever the data page name is. So let me give you an example. Let's go back inside Caspio. And inside the user folder, here's the login data page. Go ahead and click on the deploy link, enable access, and then copy the code. Go back to your HTML editor, and then replace that text with the Caspio data page and just save your document. Go through the rest of the tabs, so for example this one, Add New. Everywhere that you see these brackets with the user folder name, replace that with the Caspio data page. So let me show you once again. Inside the user folder, I have this data page called Welcome Name. So inside Caspio, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find a data page called Welcome Name. Enable Access, copy the Caspio code and just replace it. Now this web page has two data pages. Some of them will have three, four, five data pages. Just go through the HTML document and replace that text. This one is called Add New Article. Here it is. Copy and replace. Once you're done deploying the rest of the data pages, Go ahead and publish the HTML files using a hosting company of your choice. You can use one and one you can use GoDaddy. Just push all the files to your hosting company and you should be able to see that application working the way I have it in this example. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video guide. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll give Caspio a try. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at any time. Mm -hmm.